Hey lovelies, it's your girl from Creates here and I'm sorry if I'm looking a lot sweaty and gross. It's that I just come from a workout and this is the first time in my entire day that I got the time to film this intro. So my sister, she took my nieces and my nephew out, so I got a little quiet time to do this intro. So it's that time again lovelies, it's Carnival, the time we play mass. So it's carnival time, lovelies. It's the time we be throw right in the air, we ride and throw waves, and we dress up in costumes, and we have so much fun before the Lenten season. But most people do. I stay inside. I, I don't take that because crowds freak me out. But if you guys have fun in carnival, have fun. I wish I can. Anxiety gets it for me. So to celebrate carnival in my own way. I'm drawing three more traditional carnival kind of costumes or all mask costumes like we call. So last year I did Dan Burrell, a minstrel, and the Midnight Rubber. Yeah. So this time I'm going to do three other favorites that I like and let's see what we do or how I interpret it. Last year I drew it as people who dress up as these costumes but this year I want to draw the actual character itself so no costumes just the actual people the embodiment of these old mask costumes ah and let's see how they come out like these it's like so fun to do these like, seriously and I just realized I haven't done any traditional art in a while I was sketching my sketchbook but I haven't done any full illustrations in a while I've been doing things digitally and my eyes have paid the price, okay? <laughs> so let's get on to the drawings. Okay. Okay lovelies, so same as last year, I got all, if not most of my information from the NCCTT.org website and the first character that I'll be drawing is the baby doll character. <laughs> it's basically what <laughs> the title says. So it started, it was like, it was a common site during the late 19th century and it's a portrayal of a mother with an illegitimate baby how is that fair where's the man but anyhow let's not go there so usually the masquerader or masquerader is somebody who plays mass is they portray they usually wear a tr they usually like dress as a younger woman and they typically wear a frilled dress exposing their legs, gloves, and a large poke bonnet or mob cap. So I don't really know what that is. So I kind of interpreted my own way to use like a hair cap. You know, back in the day, how they used to have these caps. Or oh, proper ladies used to wear these caps. I didn't want to put the mop cap on, and I I find it helped the illustration a lot. And of course, there won't really be a baby doll costume without carrying a dolly in their arms. They're walking around with a dolly. Or it has some people who have something I've noticed that if you don't want to walk around with a dolly. A dolly wrap up in cloth or just a dolly in your arm. I've seen people walk around with pacifiers. They either have it hanging on their costume or they actually have it in their mouth. And I find it's a cool way if you don't want to carry around a doll. Because <laughs> carnival can be real wild, lovely. Be real wild. And the best part about this costume, I believe, is that they usually stop male passes by like just random males in the audience and they will accuse them of fathering the child <laughs> it seems so mean in the whole contents of the word but as a costume I think it's hilarious and then 
they will be they will embarrass the male the random male stranger and ask them to like hey take care of the child give me some milk give me some clothing or other needs and just or just simply some accusations it's like I hate to say it, but it kind of reminds me of drag queens. How when they do a show, they'll just randomly choose somebody out of the audience and ask them questions. And it may be insultive, but in a fun way. So I think that's what the baby doll expresses as well. And yeah, I think it's a really cute. I love how this portrayed. This was a fun character to design and I wanted to give like a story because I didn't just have a girl a young girl with a baby I wanted to tell a story so she's standing with the baby and she's crocking her finger and her eyes like her eyebrows are creased down she's being accused me like hey come she's like calling the males like come this is your child come help me take care of your child I don't know if that point that comes across in my drawing but that is what I try to portray So the second character I choose to portray is the, and excuse me, I can't never say this properly, the Perio Grande, or the Perio Grande. Either one is the correct pronunciation, but the Perio Grande is a descendant of the Perio, which is the pe period, period, period. I don't know. It stores clowns with the painted face and like big red like the paint red cheeks on and they have the color and i put a picture up but a perio and tip and they the perio grande is a finely dressed masquerader and deeply learned scholar his costume is made by attaching multicolored pieces of cloth to a gong like outfit so it's like really simple to make because I've made an outfit like this when I was in primary school we took a garbage bag cut a hole for our heads and, a, and holes for our arms and we sticked we glued on the um, newspaper we cut up newspaper and we stick it on and then we had a little jump up in school and by the time halfway through the jump up <laughs> almost everybody's um, newspaper was on the ground. We didn't care, we still had fun. So, so back in the day, they used to wear old mess masks, I think, like the um, the fencing people, and an old hat with strawberry attached, or they tie their head with a handkerchief. But nowadays, people simply paint their face, which I choose to portray in this one, and this character they delight in displaying their knowledge and ability to spell any word and he prances and tours about carrying a whip made of gova or hibiscus so i chose to use a fencing because for some reason this character always reminds me of a fencing them fencing people just dress differently is when you see them in the street they move the whip in such a way that they move the whip in such a way that it um, looks like they're prancing 
when the fencing so I chose to use a fencing sword I don't know the proper name for it and I didn't just want to do paint strips on the character so when I was cleaning out my room for the Christmas I found all these old pieces of paper well, not old. I just had all these pieces of paper just randomly there and I've had ideas to incorporate it in my art and this is one perfect way of doing that and I have this scissors I bought it for art and craft but then I learned it's for cutting up seasoning for spices and I'm like why we could cut it in life but anyhow it made it so much faster to get the cuttings that I needed and it was tedious work to put all of the paper down but when I was finished it was weighted it looked so good I'm so happy that I did it especially the sparkly special paper that I had that it just it just makes everything come together beautifully So the third and final old mass I choose for tray is the Jambalasi. Jambalasi? Jambalasi? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> this has so much songs about this character. My favorite one is the one by Trick and Blue. They go paint the town blue like a Jambalasi. Turn the whole world upside down. <laughs> Oh gosh, I just love that song growing up. It was so cool. It's still cool to this day. So the Jabalasi or Molasses Devil is one of the oldest form of devil mask. He wears, oh, I portrayed a woman, so I'm going to put the. They wear rings, horns, and has a wire tail and, car and usually carries a pitchfork. And they strike fear into the hearts of young and old because literally it's a devil. <laughs> So they are usually covered, I'm reading from the website if you're wondering why I'm sounding so mechanic, but they usually ca are covered in a sticky black substance which in the old days was molasses because you know, slavery. So some of the jab molasses have a rope or chain tied around their waist which I didn't choose to portray and I just because I just took the devil aspect because when you watch these jab molasses a lot of them like to blow fire so that's the aspect that I stuck with because I just just find it just looks so beautiful when you see these people just dancing on stage well on the road and then all of a sudden you just see them take out a match and they, go, and they just blow fire it's like oh, that's so awesome scary but so awesome and that's what I tried what I portrayed in this blue devil or jab molassi and i just really like how this one came out i've never tried a pose like this before i just saw an illustration with it and i was like yeah that's the pose i wanted and i just want the jab molassi to spit flames up into the air and i think it came out real cool so i kept the blue so it have different colors but the most traditional color of the jab molassi is blue there's yellow there's green there's red but i i portray it as blue so i kept it blue and that's why she's all blue and she has the wings and she has a tail and i just love her long black hair i 
don't really like straight well drawing i love straight hair but i don't really like drawing it because i see straight hair all the time but straight hair fit this character perfectly and yeah and i just love how i put coming coming on to the energy illustration i made it look like the devil is in the dark and when she spits the fire it creates light and it, that's what illuminates her Ugh, i'm not happy with how i did the face because i suck at doing profile <laughs> have you guys noticed that i don't draw profiles i draw three quarter or side or maybe a few frontals but it's always three quarter and profiles you wouldn't like to see what my profiles look like they look ridiculous so this one is my favorite apparently i always have a favorite with these things and this one was my favorite so enjoy my video <laughs> lovelies so as a refresher here's the ones i did last year we have dam laurel there she is that's so little so little so miss dam laurel we have a minstrel and we have the midnight rubber this is something i said i was going to redo but i never did so yeah so now that we refreshed Here's the new batch. We got baby doll. Oh, she looks like that's not a plant. It's blocking the light. Good. So we got the baby doll. We got a uh, period. Pe 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 <laughs> I can't even say it, but you guys know. I, I explained it. I love how this came out, especially all the shine. The shiny paper is my favorite part. Oh, I'm glad I didn't go all red. And my favorite one, Blue Devil, Damn Molassi. Turn it over upside down. I'm really happy with how this came out. But the face needs a lot of work. I don't know why drawing face in profile is so hard, but it is at least for me. So here are the three new no I can go back out. Okay. Here are the three new old mask characters. Which one was your favorite? I already know which one is mine. And yeah, thank you guys so much for love Ooh, for lovely. <laughs> thank you, lovely, so much for watching this video, especially for those of you who give me all those nice comments in last week's video. It was <laughs> it took me a while to respond to you guys, but thank you guys so much. The care and concern you guys have was really nice. Thank you. And I would like to thank my patrons, Carla Finlo, YK, Princess Auntie Auntie, Rose Rollins, and me so much for supporting my channel. And I'll see you in the next video, lovelies. Bye. Yeah.
ta ta ta